Welcome to the Core Getting Started Collection. In this video, you will learn how to build and manipulate diagrams. Each specific diagram in Core has been tailored to use custom commands to speed development and understanding using the native terminology for that particular representation. However, all Core diagrams share several common aspects. The diagram pane, the palette, the diagram elements table, the toolbars, and the menus. Every core diagram consists of a collection of nodes and connecting lines. The individual nodes might be requirements in a hierarchy diagram, functions on a behavior diagram, or components on an internal block diagram. Double-click on a node to view the property sheet of the element. Lines may represent relationships, such as traceability between a requirement and a system component, or elements themselves such as a triggering item between two lifelines on a sequence diagram. When a line represents an element, just double-click on the line to open the property sheet of the element. In any event, the primary diagram pane is our canvas. As we manipulate the diagram content through the menu commands, or drag-drop, the diagram updates to reflect the current state of the system model. It is common for changes made on one diagram to impact another diagram, which is not in view. This is because Core uses a model-based approach which allows you to update the model from different viewpoints as your system evolves over time, while maintaining the integrity of all your different views. The diagram pane follows very common paradigms. Select individual nodes and lines and labels on some diagrams by clicking on the node itself. Shift-click to select multiple objects. Click on the diagram background to clear all selections. Click on the diagram background and drag select to select all objects within a region. Zoom in or out of your diagram using the scaling features. Hold down the control key and use your mouse wheel to scroll in and out to get the detail or context you need. Use the scroll bars or your mouse wheel to scroll to other parts of your diagram. When using your mouse wheel, hold down the shift key while scrolling to scroll horizontally. If you right-click to drag, when you release the right mouse button, Core will prompt you with a list of available operations – move, copy, or link. The actual operations shown will change based upon the combination of objects being dragged and where you choose to drop them. Core automatically determines the appropriate semantics and presents you with only those choices. Dragging onto another node is interpreted as a link operation to create a relationship between the core elements. You will be presented with a dialog of all valid relations between the elements and the key relations within the semantics of the diagram selected. Virtually anything you want to do to visually develop your system definition can be done via drag-drop. The diagram palette on the right puts a collection of nodes, constructs, shapes, notes, and graphics at your fingertips. For those diagrams with defined semantics, the construct pane is populated with constructs specific to that diagram type. Dragging a construct onto a branch inserts the construct at the point you release it. Dragging to the background will add it to the end of the current structure. The Key Entities tab gives you access to class folders specifically related to this diagram. Here you see I can access functions, items, and exits, as elements from these classes are used in this diagram. I can select any pre-existing element and drop it on my diagram, or I can create one here and drop it onto the diagram. Dragging a node onto another node creates the relationship. As you drag, the cursor changes to show you if the construct can be dropped and the target emphasis highlights where the content will be inserted. For constructs that require additional information, when you release the mouse to drop the construct, Core will prompt you for the remaining information. If you find a drag-drop approach doesn't suit you, you can double-click on Options in the Diagram Palette to add them to the end of your diagram. The All Entities tab gives you access to all class folders. While each diagram focuses on specific model aspects, you are always looking at representations of the real underlying model. In many cases, you may want to create a relationship immediately, even if it won't be shown in this particular view rather than flipping from view to view. For this reason, you can drag any element onto a node 
and CORE will prompt you with the possible ways to relate the two elements. Note that you often think of dragging objects from the palette onto the diagram. You can also drag objects from the diagram onto palette elements to establish relationships. This is particularly useful when allocating functions to an activity diagram or connecting multiple nodes on an EFFBD, N squared, or block diagram. In every diagram, the right-click menu provides a rich set of diagram-specific commands. You should take the time to familiarize yourself with the right-click menu on any diagram you use. Here you'll find shortcuts to many of the common tasks, such as branch annotations, changing node positions, presentation options, and much more. While all commands are available from the diagram menus, the most common commands for manipulating diagram content and presentation are quickly accessible via the diagram toolbars. Every diagram window shows two toolbars by default. Across the top of the window, a diagram-specific toolbar includes the most common commands for manipulating the diagram. Along the right edge, the Views toolbar provides quick access to other core views of the selected element, while the diagram toolbar displays the most common commands for quick access. There is no way to include the complete richness of commands available to manipulate the diagram via the toolbar alone. The menu items at the top of the screen provide full access to menu commands. The diagram elements table along the bottom of the screen displays all of the elements shown on the current diagram. Grouped by element class, the table contents are customizable, allowing you to complement the graphical view with greater insight into element attributes and relationships. Better yet, you can use the table view to directly edit any attributes and relationships for the elements displayed. The table can be toggled on, enabling you to quickly edit attributes and relationships for the elements shown on the diagram. It can be toggled off to maximize the available screen space to see the current view. While the table can only be toggled on via the toolbar or the view menu, it can also be toggled off using the X in the upper right corner of the table header. This concludes the overview of building and manipulating diagrams. To learn more about using CORE, go back to our screencast page and view the rest of the Getting Started collection.